the regime running Ulster County are committing criminal acts. This includes county clerk, the county attorney, the county exec, the county controller, the taxing agencies, the sheriff's department, the New York State Police, and that's just to name a few of the current criminals in Ulster County that participate or are criminal acts. Countries are not allowed to own railroads. Railroads created before 1892 run themselves from the charter they were created from without government interference. These charters represent a freedom. My kind and Beatrice of Rannick are utilizing the government for the purpose of racketeering. The authorities that they claim they have are void on their face. Countries are not allowed to cut railroad tracks nor are they allowed to own them. These politicians have plans and aspirations for bigger jobs in New York for having sold out their freedoms. It is the railroads that have the law to stop the politicians for the people. The original railroad franchise also protects the citizens of America. The oligarchy of which the above criminal agents are a part of want you to think that corporations can vote and that they are citizens. Under New York law corporations are created in the likeness of a citizen. Under the Articles of Association filed in Marble Town, New York in 1775 on April 29 demand that the people in America shall not be oppressed by corporations such as the English Charter and or anything in America that attempts to do the same or from anywhere for that matter. The people of America are to be a free nation of people not corporations. As I said corporations are created in the likeness of a citizen. Sheldon Silver is in the early part of the corruption embedded in New York's government. This corruption runs all the way to Washington, D.C. The politicians created super PAC monies that are forbidden wherein to have such monies paid to politicians causes undue leverage upon Article 1's freedoms to vote and be a person who can hold property and it attacks superior title and paramount rights. Political donation was illegal in New York from 1892 until 1966 when Rockefeller was going to run for the presidency. Politicians became nervous and created this illegal manner for raising money. Such monies are treasonous by nature and fact of law. Railroad property is exempt from taking when the railroad is for prior to 1892. When a railroad is built the parts of it being the fee the legislative right from point A to B and the general and special ask by which they operate along with the real property law that is a foundation to railroad law. All of these properties make up the franchise of the railroad which is exempt from taking by counties anyway. Hillary Clinton Bill Clinton sold out our rights when the one was president and the other was Senator Bill passed the Telecom Act which benefited Verizon which is New York Telephone which is forbidden from doing so because it creates undue leveraging against we the people by the people for the people America. In the latter 1980s I informed Canrail that they were entitled to monies to which they were overtaxed to be given back. In 1955 and 56 Gov. Harriman raised the taxes on the New York Central in order to save New York from bankruptcy. What he did was unlawful, so that Conrail received $140 million plus back from New York State. So the state that saved itself from bankruptcy in return saved Conrail from bankruptcy. The Attorney General's office became annoyed with me for doing this. The Walt Hill Valley Railroad Company is owed its share of the same monies for its 38-plus miles of railroad in relationship to Conrail's mileage in New York. Walt Hill was also overtaxed by the local county's tax agents having been changed to residential commercial and vacant land taxations. Railroads have a constitutional right that is ordered that their property remain in the same taxation when it is sold from one person to another because it is the same railroad and only the management is changed. The New York State Attorney General's office along with the New York State Thruway Authority and Central Hudson Gas and Electric Time Warner Verizon as the New York Telephone Company and Easy Pass all seeks to overthrow the railroad's rights in America along with Congress and the Senate. The ICC was closed not due to economic hardship but because that's where the cure is for what's broken in America resides in law. The cutting of the tracks on the Ulster-Delaware line is a federal and state crime. The county politicians and lawyer that approve that action are guilty of a criminal act against the railroad for trespass and damage. The county did not buy the Walkill Valley Railroad Company and owns no part of it.
The law says that the county would have to buy the franchise in order to have the railroad now that's how the statute reads and that means that if you want to buy a railroad or the Brooklyn Bridge you can't just issue yourself a quit claim deed and say that it's yours. Anyone can issue a quit claim deed. The law clearly states that the franchise must be purchased from the railroad in order to buy a railroad from prior to 1892 as the above issue states. These criminal facilitations are being done all the way from here to Washington, D.C. This is an outline of the wrongs being done. There is a paper trail for it all. The local judge and district attorney are useless and the part of the criminal acts. The local powers that be told people adjacent to my railroad that my rights revert to them. Nothing could be farther from the truth. Let this be public information to the United States of America that there is an ongoing facilitation against railroads by the Congress, the Senate and the powers that be all the way back down to Ulster County. Thomas Cooley wrote the constitutional provisions that state the above facts as being such. Thomas Cooley was also the head person of the ICC when created in 1887. All the politicians in power now that don't care about the people because they care more about the corporation's monies being given to them should be made to step down from their political position due to the treasonous acts committed by them one and all for both the super PAC money the rail trail money. Ulster County did more harm to the bridge in Rosendale than you would ever imagine. When they took the bridge from me they took it by force utilizing the state police and plain clothes that the tax sale that never happened. The politicians seek to overthrow the people's franchise to freedoms, liberties and franchise. The above document does not proofread nor their paragraphs and due to the fact that my software is old. I apologize for these inconsistencies wherein I know so many of you expect a good grammar and punctuation etc. We are in the middle of major racketeering to steal the freedoms of all the people in the United States by an oligarchy that has much more money than we do is people. They can only be stopped by the law and can only make them take the money off the top of the table and then have it be illegal to bribe politicians and they're stuck under the table again such as it was in the 1950s. Bribery is illegal to the American way of politics when it is for the people. We had a revolutionary war with the battle at Lexington on April 19, 1775. Shortly thereafter on April 29, 1775 the Articles of Association were signed into power throughout New York State guaranteeing we would not be oppressed by corporations in that manner again. I'm sure that my kind has aspirations to run for Congress and take Morris's place if I were you people I wouldn't let them get started. You want some news well I'm gonna post this in my Facebook account.